Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. I'm back again with another graphics card review for you guys. Today we're looking at the Gainwo GeForce GTX 980 Phantom Card. This Nvidia GPU by the board partner Gainward currently costs about 590 US dollars, which certainly is not too bad for a GTX 980. I can't thank Stefan Miller enough for lending me another graphics card to review. This is the third time he's lending me one of his cards for the review. Thank you very much, Stefan. I really appreciate your support. By the way, he has also included money to send the card back to him. Very, very kind of him. Last time in the last GPU review, Stefan included a beautiful piece of artwork out of stainless steel that he made himself. This time he included three pieces that I just have to show you. Look at that. that precision, just beautiful. Stefan, you're very talented. Thank you so much. Alright, now back to the review. In the box, all the standard stuff as always. The graphics card itself, the quick installation guide, the driver CD, Oh, here we have a dual PCIe 6-pin to 8-pin adapter and a DVI to VGA adapter. The Gainward GTX 980 has 4GB of GDDR5 VRAM and makes use of Nvidia's awesome GM204 GPU, obviously. As for clock speeds, the base clock is at 1203 MHz, the boost clock at 1304 MHz and the memory clock at 1800 MHz. The TDP of 165 watts can't really be considered as high at all anymore. Of course, the GPU is manufactured on the 28 nanometer process. No news to you, of course. The GTX 980 has a bus width of 256 bit and supports the new DirectX 12 API that hopefully can soon be utilized in games in the near future. Now let's take a close look at the card now. First of all, I can say right away, visually it's not really my thing. I mean, it certainly doesn't look bad and all, but it's just not what I prefer, especially when paying almost $600 for a graphics card. It bothers me a lot to see such a flimsy plastic shroud on top of such a beast of a graphics card. The shroud doesn't even look cheap, also feels cheap to be honest. But other than that, the rest of the card seems to be built fairly well. Now let me explain how the cooler works on here. As you can see, there are no fans right on top that blow air onto the aluminum heatsink. Instead, the fans pretty much are sandwiched in between there. There are three of them, all of them 80 millimeters. They draw in air through the fins and at the same time blow air onto the GPU. The heatsink is connected with five heat pipes to the bottom side of the GPU. The fans are removable and that's a good system in my opinion. You just have to unscrew the thumb screws and simply slide the fans out. It's a toolless and clean design without the need to unplug any cables whatsoever. Pretty much like hot swappable hard drives with cases. These are hot swappable fans for the graphics card. Although you could think of running this GTX 980 passively cooled, I wouldn't recommend it. In my opinion, there's no need to have a passive solution here anyways, since these fans are extremely quiet, not even that loud at 100% fan speed. To power this beast up, a single PCIe 6-pin and an 8-pin power connector is required. Two SLI connections for up to 4-way SLI, PCIe 3.0 of course, and as you can see, Gainward uses a nice black and very dark brownish PCB, pretty much black on first sight. Although this card is higher than most other cards, it's still dual slot. As for the outputs, there's one DVI output, three mini display port outputs, and a single mini HDMI output. Too many minutes for my taste, but no problem of course. The Gainward GTX 980 Phantom measures about 27.5 cm in length. It's a pretty long card, but should fit fairly easily in most modern cases these days. Alright, now stop talking Nicholas, you might think. Show us the benchmarks already. There you go.
No surprise of course, this graphics card has some serious performance to offer. Luckily I've got another GTX 980 in my charts and there's a bit of a difference noticeable here and there between these two 980s. The Gainwatch GTX 980 Phantom is an awesome card I have to say. Not at all in terms of aesthetics to me, but in terms of performance and noise level, it is. It doesn't matter which game you throw at this GTX 980, it handles it very well. Of course I've only tested at 1080p, since I can't test at 4K yet. The performance is impressive, but I don't have to tell you that. The power consumption is really good, although in a 3D's GTX 980 is a bit more efficient. Where this Gainward Phantom card really shines is the noise level. The graphics card remains extremely quiet even on full load, while the temperatures are very acceptable too, with just 70 degrees Celsius at max in my test. There certainly are GTX 980s out there with better coolers in terms of raw cooling performance, but in terms of noise level I'd say this is the most quiet, high-end graphics card I've ever tested so far. Therefore I don't really care about some degrees more. Now I just wish Gainward wouldn't have used that flimsy plastic shroud and used metal instead or at least better plastic to make the graphics card appear and feel more robust. But other than that it's an awesome graphics card. I can definitely recommend this Gainward GeForce GTX 980 Phantom graphics card. Once again, thank you so much Stefan for lending me your card and making this review possible. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.